What's going on swim fans? In this video, I'm gonna share with you a mini masterclass on how to improve your swimming both in and out of the water. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a holistic approach so you can swim faster and smarter than ever before. Now in this video, we're gonna break it down into a few parts. Firstly, we're gonna start with a fresh perspective on how you can come at the sport so you can reach your full potential. Then we're gonna dive into it. We're gonna talk about that holistic approach. We're gonna talk about stroke technique, how you can train, nutrition, dry land, strength training, and of course, mental training. And then we're gonna talk about how to set smart goals so you can take action and reach your full potential. If you wanna go deeper into any of these topics, make sure you check out my new book, Swim Like a Pro. It's linked down below in the description. 16 chapters, four sections, in the water training, out of the water training, nutrition, the entire holistic picture. And I take over 20 years of competitive swimming knowledge, over 10 years of coaching swimming, and over the last five years, building the largest digital swimming community in the world. That is my Swim Pro. All that information jam-packed into this new book. Make sure you check it out, link down below in the description. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna be sharing three bonus swim tips. I'm also gonna be sharing the grand prize winner of not only a signed copy of this book, but the Apple Watch and also a swim cap and a My Swim Pro t-shirt. So make sure if you're not already participating in the My Swim Pro community, you smash the subscribe button, like this video, and let's begin. The first thing I want you to do is close your eyes. We're gonna take this to another level. I want you to imagine yourself at your favorite swimming pool, beach, lake, ocean, wherever your favorite spot is. And I want you to take those first steps. Maybe you're barefoot on the pool deck or your toes are digging into the sand. And I want you to inhale through your nostrils, smell the aroma of the chlorine or the ocean, and then exhale through your mouth. Now visualize yourself entering into the water, or you push off the wall. You take your first strokes, you feel light. You're riding high on top of the water. It's absolutely magical. What an incredible experience. Now from today onwards, I want you to challenge yourself to appreciate that incredible opportunity it is to swim, to move through a medium of water that is 800 times more resistive than air. It is absolutely amazing. Now bring it back with me, bring it back. Let me know in the comments how you feel with that new fresh perspective. And now having that fresh perspective, we can really engage that holistic experience. And that starts with our stroke technique. Remember that water is 800 times times more resistive than air. And so to move through this medium of water, it is so difficult. So there's only two ways we can get faster in swimming, okay? It's only two ways. The first is we can reduce our drag. That's it, there's only two ways. The first one is reduce drag. This means improving our body position, getting our head down, focusing on the bottom of the pool. Maybe you're swimming open water, looking at the fish down below you. Maybe you don't like that, just close your eyes. Focus on keeping your head down so your hips come up and you decrease the amount of drag that you have because your body is riding high in the water. Now the second way that you can improve your technique immediately is by increasing your propulsion. This basically means you're pulling more water or kicking more water. Let's focus on the upper body. The way that you can do this is by focusing on an early vertical forearm. As soon as your fingertips enter the water, in freestyle specifically, you're gonna focus on driving your fingertips down to the bottom of the pool, engaging your forearm so that you make a paddle all the way from your top of your middle finger down through your forearm and then to your elbow. You're gonna make a big paddle and you're gonna pull in a straight line in line with your shoulders. So there's only two ways to improve your technique. Fundamentally, you're either gonna decrease your drag or you're gonna increase your propulsion. If you haven't already checked out some other videos I've done on how to swim perfect freestyle, backstroke, butterfly, or breaststroke, all of those will be linked down below in the description and on this page, so make sure you're subscribed for more. Now the second thing we wanna get into is training. When we're talking about a holistic perspective, it's not enough just to have perfect swimming technique. Heck, there is no perfect technique. We're always trying to improve, but we also have to train correctly. Because if you go to the pool and you don't have a plan, or even if you train in a group and you have a coach, but you're not focused on the right things when you're swimming, you're not gonna get to that next level. So it's so important when you consider your training, you're very focused and you're following a structured plan. If you haven't already checked out the My Swim Pro application, it is free to download on iOS and Android. We have training programs, personalized workouts, they're dynamic, they adapt to your skill level, your speed, and your goals. So it is so important that you're following a structured plan because that is how you're gonna be able to make progress and improve systematically by being consistent at focusing on one thing at a time. So step number two, focus on your training, 
follow a plan. And if you're already in a training group with a coach and with teammates, make sure every day that you're going into the workout, you have something specific that you're focusing on and it will pay dividends over time. Now, the third element I wanna talk about is nutrition. It's so important to make sure you're fueling your body for peak performance. That means before, during, and after your workout. That means after, after your workout, you're getting some kind of a recovery snack in. Maybe it's a banana, a bagel, something immediately to replenish, get some carbs in there. It also means hydration. So that means making sure that your body is hydrated before, during, and after your workout. Drinking a lot of water throughout the day and being consistent, not just starving yourself or being dehydrated. And then going to the bathroom, looking at your urine, know that it's pure yellow and oh shoot, I'm dehydrated it's already too late at that point. So you gotta make sure you're being proactive and paying attention to all these different things if you're looking to take your swimming to the next level. Now the fourth point here is dry land, out of the water training. We call it dry land as swimmers. The rest of the world calls this strength and conditioning. Basically anything that you're doing that's on land to help your overall strength and conditioning. So this is really important, like we mentioned, the increase in propulsion. If you can get stronger out of the water and you can apply this into the water, then you're gonna be in a great spot. Now, if you're looking for dry land training, again, make sure you check out the My Swim Pro app. We have swim training programs and also dry land training programs at different skill levels with and without equipment. Of course, the fundamental here is your core. Make sure you're working on your core. One of my favorite training plans in the My Swim Pro app is the core specific workout plan. So make sure you check that out. And also it's important to reduce your chance for injury because after all, when you're swimming, you're doing a lot of repetitive motions. And when you do this, you are susceptible, more susceptible to hurting yourself from this repetitive motion. Now, the best way to combat this is with perfect technique, or at least it trying to improve your technique. So that way you're applying the right amount of pressure on the right muscle groups. And by doing dry land training or strength and conditioning, as we call it, you're basically setting yourself up to be able to reduce your chances of injury. Again, the MySwim Pro app is loaded with different dry land training programs. Also on this channel and all of the MySwim Pro social media, we're sharing different tips and tricks to make sure that you're putting yourself in a position where you're not gonna hurt yourself. And that's super important. Now the fifth and potentially the most important depending on your skill level and experience in the sport is mental training. It is so important to have a growth mindset. And the difference between a growth mindset and a fixed mindset is the belief that you can improve no matter where you're at and not falling into the trap of thinking, because I'm not a swimmer, I didn't start swimming when I was five or nine or 10 or 20, whatever it is, that you have the potential to get to that next level. You can always improve, you can always be better. And if you can apply this to your swimming, to your dry land training, heck, to your entire life, you're gonna position yourself to get to that next level. So having the right mindset and that mental training, and even being able to visualize the goals that you have for yourself, sort of like we started with that fresh perspective when I asked you to close your eyes and to envision yourself and manifest that environment, that is what setting a growth mindset and having the right mental training is all about. I talk about this in my book. I have a whole chapter on mental training. It is that important in all aspects of your life, but especially if you're trying to get better at something like swimming. Now, finally, the third section of this video before we get into the grand prize, for the My Swim Pro Apple Watch, but also my Swim Like a Pro signed autograph book, and also the three swim tips I'm about to share with you guys is how to set smart goals and actually get started, to take action on it. So SMART is simply an acronym, and this is how you should set your goals in swimming. The best swimmers in the world, like Michael Phelps, Kayla Decky, they write down their goals and then they achieve them. There's a reason why they're so successful in achieving their goals, because they write them down. But not only writing them down, writing them down in a specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound way. That is what SMART means. It is an acronym. And actually, I'll take it a step further. We're talking about SMARTER goals. So we're gonna add an ER at the end. We need to evaluate and review. Now, I'll give you an example of what is not a SMART goal. Here is what I hear all the time from swimmers. I want to swim faster. Don't we all? That is a great, high level goal, but it's a lofty goal and it's not a smart goal. A smart goal would be a lot more specific. I wanna swim faster in my 200 meter freestyle event or in the one mile open water, right? We're making it more specific. What are we actually trying to improve upon? It has to be measurable. So with swimming, this is something that's relatively measurable and it doesn't have to be the time. I wanna swim under three minutes in the 200 meter freestyle. I wanna swim 
under 20 minutes in the open water mile. It can also be something like stroke count. I wanna swim the 200 butterfly and take five dolphin kicks off every single wall. It needs to be attainable. So someone like myself saying they wanna go under 20 seconds in the 50 meter freestyle is not gonna happen. I gotta make it realistic. It has to be attainable and it has to be relevant. So I wouldn't make the goal of I wanna swim a 400 meter butterfly in X time because I don't even swim butterfly and that's not even a real event. So I'm not that concerned with that. It's important that you set something that is relevant to whatever your goals are. Don't choose someone else's goal and go chase it. Figure out what your goal is and make sure you take the steps like setting smart goals to achieve it. And finally, it has to be time bound. So I wanna swim under three minutes in the 200 meter freestyle by July 31st or by the conference championship in three months from now, in six months from now. Having a time bound to that goal will make you that much more successful. And remember, it's about setting smarter goals. So after you set a goal and you work on it for a week, two weeks, two months, two, uh, four months, you have to evaluate how is it going and then you have to review and refine these SMART goals so as you progress in life and in your swimming career, you can continuously tweak these things. Now, before we get into the three final bonus swimming tips, I wanna share the winner of our grand prize. All right, we're at the moment you've been waiting for the grand prize of the signed copy of Swim Like a Pro, an Apple Watch, Swim Cap, and My Swim Pro t-shirt. Now the prompt from last week's video was to list in the comments on my Instagram why you love to swim. Heck, let me know in the comments of this video, why do you love to swim? And I have actually three honorable mentions. Give me the drum roll. Three honorable mentions that are gonna get a signed copy shipped to them of my new book, Swim Like a Pro. It's linked down below in the description. The first one here, and I'll put this on the screen next to me, is by an Instagram handle, Plyothenics. He talks about how he grew up as a swimmer and he loves it because he is able to do this with his dad. My dad always kept swimming all these years, saying he dreams to fly and swimming allows him to do the impossible. I was always lazy to get wet as an adult. 20 years later, I understand what he meant, especially with the hectic work schedules in our lives. Being in the water helps clear your mind. Now I appreciate swimming even more and grateful I can enjoy swimming with my dad while he's still around. The smile it puts on his face when I invite him to go swimming with me and his grandchildren now, it's truly precious. I'm gifting your book to him either way. Love your insights on the YouTube channel. Thanks for all you do. Well, thank you for leaving that comment. And now we're gonna get a signed copy of Swim Like a Pro. Our next honorable mention is from Marlene. She says, it is when swimming that I find myself. I reinvent myself and change batteries for a peaceful and balanced day-to-day -day life. And above all, full of smiles. Absolutely amazing. Shout out. You're also gonna get a signed copy of the Swim Like a Pro book. And our third honorable mention, before we get to the grand, uh, unique blocks. Now this, this uh, handle was commenting like crazy on the live, so we have to give him a shout out. Swimming to me is everything with bliss. Being submerged is a unique space in this world, as well as covering 70% of the world. You always will have an experience with the water, whether it is in the shower or in a pool. I've always told my mom and fi family that I feel more comfortable underwater than out, even though the training sessions are damn hard. There is a big purpose. My body loves the motion, motivation, the grind. Something is relieving. As you swim and push further, you also get to explore, travel the world, and best of all, meet awesome communities. It goes on. There's multiple parts of that comment, but now without further ado, do the grand prize goes to an Instagram handle dot Ryan 68 they say the two hardest parts of swimming are getting in and getting out so true but then in between pure bliss after the neurological wake-up call when you first enter the water the calm settles in being submerged is a unique space in this world I've always told my husband and family that I feel more comfortable underwater than out I believe it is the even pressure that encompasses your whole being when you are submerged that resets your body, neurology, mind, and spirit. It's impossible to go into the water in a negative space and not come out completely changed. All swimmers understand this. Like this video if you agree. It's more than therapy. It's a promise and an opportunity to see and experience 
every day as your first. That is amazing. So shout out for winning the Apple Watch, signed copy of Swim Like a Pro cap and t-shirt. Make sure you're subscribed for more challenges like this where we give away a ton of swag. And of course, if you wanna get the Swim Like a Pro book, it is linked below in the description. Now I promise you guys three final tips before we sign off. The first one, they're gonna get more and more difficult, but the first one's pretty beginner. But if you're just getting started, you need to do this. And even if you're advanced, it's a good thing to remind yourself of. When you push off the wall in streamline or you dive in in open water, it's so important that you position one hand directly over the top and your top hand, your thumb, actually grabs the bottom hand. A lot of people don't do this. It blows my mind when I see such fast swimmers, they clasp their hands in such weird ways and you can improve your streamline and flexibility so much by doing something so simple as putting your top hand over the other and your top thumb grabs your other hand. That'll set you up for a perfect streamline. So that's the beginner tip. Now a little bit more advanced tip is swimming with something called open fingers. Now I'm not talking about swimming with your hands like this. No, no, no. I also don't want you to swim with your hands cupped and really, really small. Instead, you're gonna open up your hands and you're gonna have anywhere from you know three to five to even 10 millimeters of space at the top of your fingers. And that will allow you to actually increase the total surface area of the water. And I did a full whiteboard Wednesday video about this topic and how you can actually improve your performance and power by up to 10% by swimming with slightly open fingers. So make sure you check out that video. And finally, the third and most complicated part of this swim tip, bonus tip, is working on your SWALF score. So if you're not familiar with SWALF, it's a measure of your swimming efficiency. Basically, the way it's calculated, you take your time in a 25 meter distance pool, and then you add how many strokes it takes. So if you're swimming freestyle, it's one, two, three. So let's say you take 20 strokes in 20 seconds, your SWALF score is a 40. Now your goal over time is to decrease your SWALF score because you become more efficient. Couple ways you can do that. You can either decrease the number of strokes you can take, you know, maximize your distance per stroke, stretch it out. Now, if you do that, you might swim slower and you might not actually reduce your swell score. So it's really important that you apply more power per stroke so that you can decrease your stroke count, but keep your time the same. Now on the flip side, if you just swim faster and you take more strokes, you might not actually reduce your swell. So the bonus tip here is to try and calibrate what is the most efficient way for you to move through the water and reduce that swell score to the best of your ability over time. Don't compare your swell score to someone else. If I go a 32 and someone else goes a 28 and someone else goes a 55, don't worry about it. Worry about what your swell score is. And if you wanna see it tracked in the MySwim Pro app, we actually show this on a chart over time throughout a workout and you can track your swell score by following a structured workout or open open swim workout in the My Swim Pro app. So I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you did, we really appreciate a like and subscribe. Share this with all of your swimming friends who are trying to get to that next level, whether they're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced swimmer. And if you guys haven't already downloaded the My Swim Pro app, make sure you download it. It's 100% free to get started. And finally, if you're not in the My Swim Pro Global Community Facebook group, we have over 10,000 swimmers from over 100 different countries trying to get to the next level. We have beginners, triathletes, open water swimmers, former Olympians, and everything else in between. Everyone's in there trying to get better. So if you want to surround yourself with a digital swim team that's going to help you get to that next level, I'll see you guys in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy swimming and have a great day.